And that's why the movie isn't getting made, you fucking asshole. I'm going to quit this show. <laughs> Good. I have a British guy that people love already. Fine. I'll make my own new show. They'll be better. <laughs> There's a line from Futurama where Bender keeps us like, okay, I'll go to my own moon station with Blackjack. <laughs> Compare your life to mine, then kill yourself. <laughs> so after that hour-long discussion that Mark Millar is going to have to edit... Hey, 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 you, you've got something. You've got something. Oh, that's your body. <laughs> okay, that was that was a good one. So, next story. By, yes. By me. Uh, now, Eric... I think you have said before that, uh, and I know a lot of people say this, the pointless variant covers they put out for Marvel get stupid, right? I believe I've heard you say this, if I'm, if I, you haven't. At least this one is on... Because the problem with a lot of the variant covers is that they have nothing to do with anything. Like, there was that month of Iron Man, where, like, here's these cool designs for Iron Man that will never be featured in a story. I think, that's, just... I think that's going on right now. And, and they're, they're not even putting them, like, on books that make sense. Like, it'll be like, no. you know, Avengers number one, Samurai Iron Man. They do, yeah, they, they, they do that a lot. Uh, this time, because we didn't mention it, uh, and they're only putting them on a few, too. Uh, they're doing, uh, let's see, Women of Marvel uh, variants. With, uh, and, all, these ones at least make sense. And that's why yeah, yeah, yeah. going to have... Rescue, uh... Captain America Rescue. has, a uh, Black Widow, Black which Widow. makes no sense because Black Widow has her own title. Why is and it that thing? And she could have been on, on Invincible Iron Man, too. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, Mary Jane's on Spider-Man. Miss Marvel's on New Marvel's Avengers. On and they're all done by, uh, Stuart Inman, and they all look good. Here's the thing. This is, this is the next in a long line of Marvel trying to shove down our throats that they don't hate women. Because they got this reputation uh -huh, yeah, yeah, that they hate women. Mm -hmm. There's a series and, out uh, right now called Heralds, which is all the female characters. And so they keep doing this, like, like Women of Marvel Month and, 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 and whatnot. Look, you don't treat your women as good as DC. It's just a fact. That doesn't mean that you have to do all this, all this stuff and make it seem like, like you treat them better. I'm not saying that Marvel treats the women bad, but... Mark Millar works for you. Mark Millar, who makes Ryan the Bendis living. works for you, and most and most of his climactic endings end with a woman getting shot in the head. Yeah, yeah, getting stabbed, get, getting shot, and Mark Millar kills everybody. Every, every story that has a Hulk in it, he has sex with like nine women into a cult. <laughs> yes. Um. Look, uh, that's not happening at DC, and unless you stop that kind of stuff, I don't care how many months of women at Marvel and look how powerful the women at Marvel are. It, it's not, it, it's not going to change the stigma. Yes. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the DC thing, uh, you know, that whole, uh, that scene from green lantern where Kyle Rayner finds his girlfriend in the refrigerator. That's hysterical. There's an issue like a blackest night tie in of like green lantern core. Yeah. Where... That, or that's what I was saying was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love that. Where she comes back from the dead in the fridge. Yeah. In the fridge in space. Yeah. All right, so the next story is that DC Comics is entering the 21st century. They're now going to be putting out uh, digital comics for iPods. And iPads. And, yeah. And I anything else, I'm guessing. I have a question. Do we, um, like, could, I'm not going to. If I could, could I download these to my computer, or does it have to be iPhone and iPad? From what I've been told, like, well, I, no one shows you. Like, it was like, oh, yeah, look at it on this iPhone. Look at it on this iPad. Like, do you have no other phone to test this on? Like, for what I've... People keep telling me it's just, like, an iTunes thing. Yeah, um, I... Yeah, like, I, I, like an App Store thing. And, uh, and this is a big deal because now that DC's finally done this, all the major uh, publishers uh, have, uh, have entered the digital realm, as people keep telling me. Yeah, um, and this is this is just another step into the eventual hopeful future that individual issues come out on on the computer and then they just put out trades. And uh, is, and to tie in with this, and to tie in with this, uh, uh, the series Justice League Generation Lost uh, is uh, going to have all their issues come out uh, the same day 
as they would at, 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 at the comic book store in issue form. I don't care the Mandarin. We need to, someone. Someone make us a theme, like a little theme song thing to put in. Well, well so let's just see. Here's the thing. That's actually a throwback joke. Yeah, I know. Because because the, the Mandarin issue is the one that. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I see, 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 see how I thought, tied that in. Yeah, right, so, we have a continuity on this show. You people no, need to watch. We, totally have, we reference that continuity. Yes. All right. So, tune, in, tune in next week when I reference my pimp friend with the Green Lantern rings. Uh, if anyone remembers that. Next, uh, next article. Yes. This should be my article. Why, why do you get to do it? I don't know. We don't plan these out. I, I, I'm the Warren Ellis fan. <laughs> you do it. I'll do the next two. Two. That, there's only there's only two left. Just take it, Eric. <laughs> All right. So we, they've uh, Warren Ellis's comic book Red, which I've never read. Um, uh, I guess it's getting adapted into a movie. I've known about this for like a year. I, I didn't even know. Um, and the trailer is out. Uh, now, w- Warren Ellis wrote a whole article about why it's – or what's different from, from his original comic book. And the thing is, like, I'm watching this and, like, I'm kind of like, this looks stereotypical. This looks stereotypical. And then there's the line where they say that uh, he, he's, he's been, like, living on, like, PCP – for the past, like, decade, I'm like, all right, this is a Warren Ellis book. Yeah, um, and it's John Malkovich, the person, the perfect guy to play someone like that. Uh, I like this trailer. I think it looks good. Yes. Uh, it it I, looks I, kind of fun. Morgan Freeman playing a creepy old guy is kind of strange. That cut uh, off of me was like, should I enjoy that or should I say no? Because that's just I, odd. I, I know that in Wanted he had that, shoot these motherfuckers line, but... I want even, that in my ringtone. I just realized how, how much I love that line. Even though he's, he's done that, when I hear Morgan Freeman... I, I never think, think of that at all. Yeah, he... I think it, of Wholesome Family Fun. He has I, I, still on the Science Channel right now. But it looks good to me. Yeah, it looks, it looks funny. So the final story. My story, because I don't have a second story to do. God damn it, I suck at these. So... Marvel's next cosmic event, cosmic event, Eric. So there, it's a separate part of Marvel. <laughs> uh, is going to kick off in October called Chaos War. It's uh, going to be a five-issue miniseries written by Greg Pak. It's basically the same guys who did Incredible Hercules. I would it, like to remind you that that there are no uh, epic event crossovers going on. Nope. None. Oh, oh, actually, 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 there is another story, which is that. Um, Apparently, Wasp and Hank Pym have been cast. Oh, that was my other story. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it, it, it's it's Eva Longoria for for uh, Hank Pym. And she and she uh, was to play her like last year, and she denied it. And uh, Nathan Fillion is is going to play Wasp. Uh, so so yes, just I'm, just to get the geeks ready, uh, Captain Hammer's going to be in a superhero movie. Technically, here's what bothers me. Yes, I don't like Hank Pym. <laughs> I don't want them to cast somebody I like as Hank Pym. Oh, that's cool. No, uh, and that's, it's just a rumor, it's not official. Uh, so, yeah. Wait a minute, you that, still have a second story. That, that's all I got. I'm going to go back to the uh, thing I was going to try to talk about. <laughs> God, we, we're not good at this at all anymore. Uh, the series is going to be centered on a, an attack on Earth by the Chaos King. Does anyone care? No, I'm pretty sure everyone just shut it off after you got done talking. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, just check out the article if you care. Thor's involved, Galactus is involved, the Silver Surfer's in it. Bye! No, we're not saying bye yet. Hello! <laughs> Anything else we need to add, Eric? We got about Welcome to Mr. Seconds. Rogers' neighborhood. Yes, uh, we are the official news show of nothing. Comics. We are the fi- yes, actually that's true. They, they need to just make us official. Just whoever the hell they are. Exactly. You find out who they are for us. And contact them and inform them that we need to be made official. <laughs> They'll give us like little like these nice little ribbons that say we're official or something. 
These yeah, yeah. We, giant, we moved, giant we, colorful we could, pins. We could go to comic book conventions and get get press pins. Oh, uh, that will never happen, but <laughs> it'd be awesome. One day. One day. Hey, that's something to shoot for. You, if you people want to see that happen, tell us. Tell everyone you know about this show. Now, I must inform all of you. I must go wander in the wilderness. Isn't the wilderness filled with oil by now because you live in Florida? No. Are you sure? You better check. That's the Everglades. That's not the wilderness. <laughs> I don't know anymore, Eric. I, I stopped paying attention because it's not you and me covering it. I don't pay attention to any news unless it's you and me or someone else replacing me. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.